care because 95% of the government workers that are involved, they don't think anything's wrong. They're just doing what they're told, you know? I listen. I listen to uh, Gerald Salente. I follow his his uh, news analysis a good bit, and he 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 reminds people that the people in the second tower on 9/11 were told, "Go back to your desk. Everything's fine." And a lot of those in the upper levels that did that died. <laughs> this is the time to think for yourself. You've got no, to you... get as mu- you've got to get as much information as you can from every source that you can, and think for yourself. You're absolutely right, Tom. And uh, I thank you so much for the call. Thank uh, you, it, it's been a uh, it's been a very chaotic year, hasn't it, Griff? I mean, it, this is just one thing, the Egypt thing. Boy, I I never saw this coming. I think we're just beginning on the chaos. I agree. I, I totally agree. Let's keep these lines of flowing here. Um, let's go to um, hmm, John King. Who's the next person? Because <laughs> my switchboard just is not where. Ah, Jeanette from Kansas. Let's go to Jeanette. Jeanette, you're live Hi. on the air. How are you doing? Hi. Good, good. Um, how do we prepare to pay rent? Will we be getting, like, Social Security still in the bank and VA benefits? and Or is, we might might as well just forget about that. What yeah, do you think? Forget about will, it. I didn't hear you. Uh, Forget about that. It'll it'll eventually stop. Not just suddenly, but gradually. Uh, well, if your if your monetary system has a collapse uh, and devaluated, then uh, you will not get uh, money out of the government. Wouldn't would you say, Griff, that <clears throat> in the event that that happens, and there are a lot of renters out there. Wouldn't you say that if that renter was well armed and able to defend that land, that that land pretty much at that point becomes theirs? Well, who's going to try to take it away from them? Well, that's my point. You won't have uh, right now. Uh, cities are uh, furloughing uh, police, fire department uh, employees. Who's going to take it away? <clears throat> if you if you do lose it, go out and take your gun, and get another one. Yeah. No, now that's I, going I, to be the environment. Thing. Really. Mm-hmm. So there's really no way to prepare unless you get gold and silver, and then you pay rent well, with that. No, uh, those systems, those civil systems, will eventually uh, be no more. At some point in time, they are dependent on on organization within the society and abiding by laws and courts and police to enforce it. And when you take that away out of the equation, you have nothing left. Wow. It's, and that's that's what we see coming, Jeanette. It's it's very scary, but and sometimes it's hard to get wrap your hands around what happens in a situation where um, society, as you know it, breaks down. And the only way you can, the only way that I know a lot of people listening to the show, a lot of them have military experience, and being in war zones and things like that, you you experience it firsthand, and. The the last thing on somebody's mind is how I'm going to pay the rent. The first thing on people's mind is what am I going to eat, and how am I going to drink water, and or where am I going to find it, and how am I going to feed my kids? You know, how are we going? Well, to, I've been preparing that way. I, right? How am I going? To, how am I going to take care of sewage? You know, because oh. sewage sewage is a huge problem. And and when 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 the uh, toilets stop flushing. And trash stops getting taken away. You've got to do something about that too, because you're talking about a huge disease threat if you don't take care of that stuff. All this stuff, all this little stuff, is is what you have to think about when you, you, you try to tackle this. And it's it's so hard to do unless you do kind of like what Gwen said. You kind of sit back and you start writing things down. You take an inventory of what you have. And then you go and say, well, what do I need left? You could do that also by shutting off your main breaker in your house and then just trying to live your life for about 24 hours and see how how difficult it gets. All these things are tools that you can use to that. But I will say that that the best way, at least that, that I'm I'm seeing, is most of my listeners here have very limited means, myself included. And so I've had to prepare myself based on – how would somebody 200 years ago make it? 
and and that's the way that I've I've done it is with that mentality is learning a lot of the things that people used to do that 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 knowledge is now rare or lost. I've had to go and reintroduce myself to a lot of that stuff. And I don't know where you are in your preparation and uh, uh but I can tell you that when it all comes down to it nobody's going to be 100% prepared. It's just it it's it's impossible. It, it sure is, because I've been working on it for a couple of years now, and I don't feel like I'm even close. I am, but, well, a little bit close, but <laughs> not fully prepared and not for an extended time, like years. When do we see this happening? Is there a time frame? That it's happening now. Kind of, it's well, happening I mean, now. Really bad to where I can't pay the rent. Type of thing. Have you been to the uh, store recently and looked at some of the inflated prices? Some of it sure. is going yeah. into hyperinflation. Yeah. Yes. 20, in 2010, Gwen, the cost of food on average raised 25% in one year. It's gone up 25%. The cost of of um, commodities such as gold and silver, copper, metals, uh, anything like that, on average increased 66%. So we're in an inflationary bubble now. We're starting to see the uh, inflation take hold. You know, go to uh, Walmart, and you'll also see that uh, items on the shelf from time to time are not there. And I don't know what's causing that, why the supply chain is breaking down in, in some ways, but you're starting to see that as well. So it's just all these little clues that key you in on just how – uh, fragile a situation we're actually in. Yes, especially at Walmart. I've noticed in the pharmacy department where all of the band aids and ointments and stuff that seems to be gone a lot, which I find really strange. That's it's it's very strange. It's very strange. But Jeanette, I thank you so much for the call. Uh, you've been a wonderful caller for sure, and. Um, um, just keep on preparing and keep on uh, paying attention because that really is the most important uh, thing to do is just keep your eyes peeled and pay attention to what's going on. And, um, and you know, Griff, I don't, again, I really don't think anybody can truly be uh, prepared, 100% prepared uh, for what's going on or what could be coming. Um, but, you know... <laughs> I think I think a lot of people, and myself included, I've made the mistake that you think there's more time than you actually have. You know. Well, uh, Joe, if I'm not as close to being as prepared as I think, because I got books here how to stuff a possum over a open fire and for Thanksgiving, and have possum stew and all those other goody books, and do the things that the Native Americans did thousands of years ago. If I'm not prepared, then a lot of people that haven't even started really have a problem. No, you're absolutely right, John. Now, folks. John, <clears throat> John, John isn't it old possum? <laughs> aren't, aren't you supposed to say old possum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and some people spell uh, potato with an E, too, but around here we say possum. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, folks, just so you know, uh, we at the Freedom Link Radio have now launched our website, www.thefreedomlinkradio.com. There you can go and get our archives. Uh, I used to post them on my YouTube channel because I could post two-hour shows. But now they've taken that away from me. So to hell with YouTube. We are going to post them now from our website at www.thefreedomlinkradio.com. You'll also see uh, blog entries from John and myself. And uh, if Griff, if you ever feel... Uh, so inclined as to write blogs, uh, your submissions would be uh, welcome as well. <clears throat> but the, well, Joe, one thing I want to add to that: one of the yeah. nice things about the uh, the website, uh, the way we have it set up, is you can actually tweet and uh, put our put our blogs up on uh, uh, Facebook and put the shows on, on your Facebook page for all your contacts to read it. So now you and the listening audience have a really big opportunity to uh, help us spread the word through your sh social networks. Well, John, that is, that is very convenient. I am, 
I am absolutely thrilled. Folks, I, I want you to know something, too, you know, between um, – um, and I will be using YouTube, don't get me wrong, but it, it's a pain in the keister to have to break it up into 15-minute pieces. And I know a lot of people are annoyed by that, so this will give people another way of of branching out and um, and listening to the show in its entirety without having to click on eight different parts. And and that's that's one of those things. It's just more for convenience. Now I'm going to go to break now, and um, when we come back, folks, I want to um, – I want to get into the King's Court, and then we'll be taking... I got Jim uh, from Amarillo on the line, so I'll be taking your call, Jim, uh, after the King's Court. So sit tight and stay tuned. This is Joe Joseph. This is Freedom Link Radio on the Intel Hub News Network. Stay tuned, everybody. Are you still paying your credit cards and so-called bank loans thinking that you owe the money? Do you feel like it's your moral obligation but can't see an end in sight? Well, what if I told you that in truth, you don't owe a single penny and that the banks know this and hope you don't find out? Here's where we come in. Free2Prosper.com specializes in a profound debt repudiation method which challenges the validity of your so-called debts, morally frees you from the burdens, and protects your property. Our system is often superior to settlement, bankruptcy, or consolidation, which often leave you in a worse situation. If you feel the moral obligation to take care of yourself and your family, then I urge you to consider taking action right now. The economy will not wait. If you want to know more so you can prosper through the economic collapse, all while staying honorable and true to yourself, then call 877-417-8393. That's 877-417-8393. Or visit free2prosper.com right now. Hey, it's me, Shepard, the host of the Intel Hub. Check out my live show every Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can check it out from my website, theintelhubradio.com. Join me, Joe Joseph, John King, and A.C. Griffith, Thursdays and Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern for Freedom Link Radio on the Intel Hub News Network. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and family. Now this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years, but the crazy part is he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties, a few years ago. In fact, Baronis called his work a dire prophecy. Now, this has nothing to do with the stock market, but it could have a huge impact on almost every aspect of your life. And recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet. And it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www endofamerica8.com Although this video may be offensive to some audiences, it's worth checking out. Again, that's www.endofamerica the number 8.com Watch this free video at www.endofamerica8.com You are listening to the Intel Hub News Network Crushing the New World Order piece by piece Well, folks, we're back. 
the number to call, 877-598-8549. And without further ado, my dear friend John King and the King's Court, take it away. <laughs> 